first step was the Mill Cyclops, a virtual production toolkit we created in order to assist on-set visualization in any location. In fact, we really put it through its paces when we shot this on the mountain roads of California. Um, so to replicate some of that here today, we brought the, our Blackbird call rig, uh, car rig for a live demo. So for shoots where the main characters or objects are entirely CG, the raw video feed like this is not the most helpful, even with placeholders. Where would the headlights or the driver be exactly framed here? Um, lighting and framing can be guesswork. However, with the addition of real-time tracking from Array, we can augment the hero cam camera feed uh, with a virtual object like so. And this is already much more useful, but it's still uh, severely lacking in realism. So to push the quality further, we've placed the camera on top of the object we're tracking. It's capturing the surrounding environment and streaming it back to replication in real time as a secondary video feed for image-based lighting. And so if I turn this on, you can see now how the virtual object really does sit uh, much better into the video backplate. So Joji, what do you think of this shot? It's looking good, but I think we could do a little better. Uh, can we adjust the framing a little bit, please? It's looking cool. <laughs> Let's stop around there. Cool. So uh, to shape the car, let's add uh, some highlights on the top of the car. Can we yep. shift it forward? Uh, cool, <laughs> nice, nice. So in this way, uh, directors and DPs can light the car, uh, frame their shots, and really visualize their shots while they're on set. So now that we saw how we shot the film, um, let's take a look at how we crafted the film in Engine. Uh, Michael, can you play that clip? Sure. So actually, this isn't just a clip. What we're seeing is a live, composited, and rendered view that's happening inside the engine. So the other cool part is that we're using uh, EXR streams. So we have uh, each one of these shots has up to three EXR streams for it. And these are full res, uncompressed uh, EXRs. So we're actually putting about 1.8 gigabytes a second of throughput to the engine to maintain a solid uh, 24 frames a second here. So there's a shot in here that I'm not happy with. Can we jump into shot 140, please? Sure. Look at you, uh, see what here? The shot here? Yep. Yeah, let's dive in. So it looks like the lighting is a little off. Can we spin the sunlight around? Sure. Go up here. And uh, let's grab the sun. Drag this around a little bit. Something maybe more like that? Yep. That looks a lot better. Um, can we try adding some more smoke effects on the tires? Sure. Kick that up a notch. Come back down here. Just grab the left one. What do you say? Like maybe 10 times, you know? Yeah, let's go for it. Sounds good. All right. Fill the speed here. All right. Cool. <coughs> and uh, lastly, let's try and add a lens there to the shot. Can All we right. add a second layer? Sure. Come down here, and what we're doing is adding another, uh, actually, another DXR stand to the shot, so it should be pretty, pretty cool. All right, so now you can see we've got a uh, lens splits there and a uh, lens flare. Nice. So maybe we can take a look uh, at our clip again with our new adjustment. Sure. Let's check it out. So as you can see, um, making a film in an engine comes with huge reward. There's um, rendering all the CG, bringing in all the live action sequences, and also compositing each frame every 42 milliseconds, which allows us to have a fully interactive film. So if we can take a look at the configurator now, um, we can see how that customization works. So any uh, transformer scans out here, it's <laughs> Bubblebee. And if we go into picture in picture on the main screen, we should also be able to see that the AR app is being configured. Let's try a few other colors. Can we try uh, Garnet Red? Or uh, Hyper Blue? So if anybody likes uh, classic colors, let's try swapping the model to the 68. <laughs> now that's great and all, but... <laughs> Jerky, do we have something other than cars? Let's jump into a uh, safari mode. <laughs> 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 
So uh, these innovations in shooting the film, <laughs> cropping the film, and uh, interacting with the film is why we believe the future of filmmaking is real time. Thank you. Thanks.